Bang Lab presents Take Two series. Marker. Hi. Hi. I'm Matt. I'm Shanti. Nice to meet you, Shanti. Nice to meet you, Matt. Uh, what do you do here? Uh, well, I'm here to use high magnetic fields to study some very usual stuff under very unusual conditions. Wow. Okay. So, what do you mean by unusual conditions? Well, by unusual conditions means that we don't uh, stuff that we don't have daily experience for those. I mean, most of our life is centered around um, normal atmospheric pressure and temperatures that are close to room temperature. Maybe a little bit warmer or cooler, but something around those. Now, for studying materials outside of this, that's what I'm calling unusual conditions. And these are we are pushing them to extreme pressures close to the core of the Earth and then mm -hmm. very low temperatures as low as possible that you can possibly get in nature. And you said very usual materials. Uh, can you give me some examples of these? Uh, yeah. The stuff that you work uh, a lot with in your daily life, like mm -hmm. lithium. Lithium is used in lithium batteries that are in your cell phone, in your okay. laptop, mm -hmm. and everywhere around you. Wow. So what kind of uh, practical applications might this have for me as a day-to-day -day user? Well, I mean, when we are taking materials to very high pressures or very low temperatures or very high magnetic field, you would think, OK, this is not that's not applicable to my, my life. Okay. But then if you find the new material properties on those unusual mm -hmm. conditions, mm -hmm. then you can find out what are the underlying principles. And for example, we have superconductivity materials. These are materials that they show zero electrical resistivity at low temperature. This happens at low temperature, but then if you figure out what is the underlying principle for that, you may be able to synthesize another material or uh, design another material that works under normal conditions and has the same properties. Okay, so you're discovering new materials. Exactly, and new material properties. All right. Uh, uh, looks like that's all the time we have for today. Uh, but thank you for sharing your research with me. Yeah, I learned a lot. It was great talking to you. Mm -hmm. Nice to yeah. meet you, Shanti. Nice to meet you. Here you go. Maglab presents Take Two series. Marker. Good morning, Shanti. How are you today? Great. Good morning, Christiana. Uh, I want to know a little bit more about your research. Can you tell me s some more? Uh, yeah, so uh, I'm studying very simple elements mm -hmm. under extreme conditions of pressure and temperature. So and I mean extreme is low temperature and mm -hmm. high pressures. Uh, so where, when you're looking at hydrogen and helium that are the lightest elements of the periodic table, when you cool them down at ambient pressure, they show this bizarre quantum behavior. So helium becomes a superfluid and they're known as quantum solids. Now, when you increase the density of these materials, they actually become less quantum. Whereas if you were dealing with something that was already a metal, if you increase the pressure, theoretically, you can get more quantumness out of it. And there can be states of matter that are exciting. So we are interested in understanding metallic system at extreme conditions. So it's the application of this um, trying to research what's going on into pl inside planets like Jupiter? Yeah, that, that's, that's a great question. Yes, hydrogen that is in this giant gas planet is basically uh, becoming uh, metal at very high densities, about like when you go to 5 million atmosphere. Mm -hmm. And that's the reason that metallic hydrogen is so exciting. And this is going to be the lightest metal eventually in nature. That is very, yeah, that's right. So how do you use the magnets uh, here at the Magnet Lab for, for this, uh, these investigations? So metals have Fermi surface. Mm -hmm. And basically, they have electronic structure that is detectable by magne high magnetic field. And uh, uh, we are because we are uh, looking into very simple metals, and the, sim the metal, the case that we are looking into is lithium, which is the lightest metal at ambient pressure. Magnets are wonderful uh, the tools to look into their electronic structure, how it changes with pressure. And we can basically, hopefully, extend those to metallic hydrogen one day. Very interesting. Um, so what is the next step? What is the holy grail for, for your research? Well, I mean, the holy grail, I mean, par partially is looking into par the conditions that no one ever mm -hmm. looked at. I mean, those very extreme, high, extremely high pressures and very low temperatures are where this interesting thing can happen. But then also understanding that what would be the physics of the very, I mean, quantum solid as a, at the very uh, high densities is going to be things like a quantum fluid uh, ground state. Or um, uh, those are the things that we are looking into. And how is it going to be applied in the universal level to uh, planetary systems, 
to, even though they're usually at higher temperatures, but how can we model these things to see what happens at uh, other conditions that can exist in nature or create interesting conditions that don't? Very interesting. Well, we have to wrap up, so if you want to know more, please follow this link.